Well, we have started out on the long trail. We're headed down to the falls the first. A little breezy today, but it feels pretty good. Probably in the upper 40s. We'll see how this trip brings. Got uh, this is Friday at about four o'clock. We're getting started. So here we go. Hercules Glades Wilderness Area. Well, we went about seven tenths of a mile, and now we finally started down here. That's kind of a little ridge walk up there from the parking lot. So, we are reading some of the comments on the trail that uh, every trailhead is up on top of a hill, so it's always a climb out to get out of Hercules Glades. But so far, so good. The trail's been pretty easy to follow. There's not any, really any signage on the trail or blazes to follow, but so far this one pretty easy to follow, which I think this is a popular trail anyway. So, quite a few cars in the parking lot, so I'm sure we'll meet people here after a while. Alright, down the trail we go. Well, we worked our way down. A few little switchbacks and you break out in this little open area with these cedar trees, so. Not much to look at here, just cedar trees. So, onward to the falls we go. Okay, so we came out of the uh, top of the hill clearing area and we dropped back into the forest. Lots of cedar trees around us, so we're still going down. We're gonna go down until we get to the creek. So still a pretty easy walk. Trail's really wide. Might been no road bed at one time, but don't know. There's my hiking partner for the day, she's paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Alright, down we go. We get down to the falls here shortly, I suspect. Alright, first little creek crossing. Go hop right there. Nice and easy. I think we're probably a mile and a half in, something like that. Beautiful little stretch in here. So. Onward we go. Okay, had to cross that last little old creek. Fell down in this little cedar bottom, is what I'd call it. It'd be hot down here in the summertime, because I doubt if you get any wind at all down here. So, all right, so here's our first trail junction. Long Creek Trail and Tower Trail head up that way. So we just came from. And let me get this trail junction here. I'm sure we're gonna be coming out here at one time or another. Some of these trails, they've renamed them. So this is Pete Hollow Trail. All right, so let's go down here and cross the creek and keep on rolling. Okay, so we crossed the creek, Main Park Creek. 
So we're still heading downstream. So that was a sacrifice the uh, left foot to get wet, right foot stay dry. <laughs> so here we go. I'm sure it's going to be a wet feet weekend because a lot of these creeks have got good water in them. So hopefully the piles should look good. Okay, creek crossing number two. Yep, Riley got in on the game on that one. They both wet now. So. On where we go. Still following the creek. Got two more trail junctions we should hit, then we'll be into the near the falls. Okay. That last creek crossing come up here to middle creek junction. Middle middle trail junction. And, uh, we're still on the Long Creek Trail, so onward to the falls. Okay, so you cross the creek down here, come up the hill, right here at Blair Ridge Junction now. Good campsite right over there, good flat area. We may come back up here if we don't find nothing down here by the falls, which I do like the idea of it being up out of the creek bottom. It means less condensation. So, yeah. Captain wants me to leave now. Nice little set of falls here. I don't think this is the one we're looking for yet, but very beautiful. Looking down the creek, I think that is where we need to go to. So, we're almost there. Gorgeous today. Look how beautiful it is today. Okay, we've been following that trail that I thought was Koi Ball Trail, which is not. It's an unnamed trail from that campsite. We've come to another set of the falls. It sure is beautiful. In here. Back up against that little bluff area. Ooh, look at that. And look at that. Reflection off of that pool of water in there. That is beautiful. Okay guys, from the falls, it's probably not a quarter of a mile down the trail. It's pretty easy to follow, but if summertime it's going to be grown up and look like it's not a trail at all. You come to the first overhang. This is what we was looking for earlier. Thought about coming down here to camp, but it would be a muddy mess. But it would be pretty cool camping in here. So, man, people went all out. Fire ring, chairs, the whole nine yards. They've been pretty cool with the fire burning last night, so. Look at here, they even got a walk path down to the water. So, pretty awesome.
Okay, we're back to our campsite. So that trail leads straight out of this campsite, follows down the creek. It's uh, six tenths of a mile down there to that overhang. So, I'm not sure from some of the pictures and comments on the All Trails app that there's another overhang in there somewhere, but we didn't really see any different trails in there to it. We are back up to the falls as you can see. So we're going heading down here to find, actually find the Koi Ball Trail and make that loop this morning. So that is the plan for the day. Maybe out to the bluffs this evening if we get time. We'll see. Just exploring, having a good time. Best I could read from my little thermometer, we woke up about 28 degrees this morning. She froze up. All that fun stuff that you get to do. Feet uh, is starting to dry out a little bit. There's back into the falls again. So, very beautiful. One more look at the falls. I don't know if we'll be back down here any more of the trip or not. Took a bunch of pictures with the sun setting on. I hope they turn out good. There's one more look. Looks like the water's even went down overnight. It's starting to a little bit more shallow out there. I was across yesterday. So, very pretty. All right, let's go find the junction. All right, so we've been coming up out of the creek. Trail coming up out of the creek was uh, pretty rocky. Here's a old farm pond. So I suspect back in the day, this was all grassland up here. And now the cedar trees just came in and pretty much taken it over. So not as of yet a whole lot to look at up here. So I got a feeling that's what it's going to be. We may come up to some overlooks. We'll see. People don't like fires, but these cedar trees could use a good fire. Coming up through here. So, trail on trail right now is pretty good, but that first part coming up that, because it went straight up, is washed out and full of ankle breakers in there. All right, onward we go. Okay, we're still not quite to the top in here, but Kathy spotted a little side trail and we walked out to it. And a little ball there, you actually see some stuff. There's a house over there, a road, so. Kind of in the middle of a little nugget of gold, another wilderness area, so. Which if they don't do something, it's gonna be nothing but cedar trees, unfortunately. So, uh, trail is up that way, and that way is the way we go. Okay, we're still climbing Koi Ball, but you can kind of get a break out here. You actually see the wilderness there is what I'm assuming. I think we're headed over somewhere over in that area right in there. Just feel how I feel about it, but I could be wrong. There's nice little mountain back over there okay. up that way we go okay we're still just moving along here more views out that way very beautiful this one we got a campsite set up out here so straight up water carry And it's all the rain. I don't see no water. I haven't come across any water since we left the creek. 
like another campsite down there. All right, so we're fixing to head back into the brush. So nice little walk. Not bad at all right now. Well, this pond looks like it may actually hold water year round. I don't see nothing growed up in the middle of it. So if you get up here on this trail, you needed some water. Uh, I can see some sticks, so it maybe get pretty low in there, but it would be water, nevertheless, if you use out of water. So uh, we climb up to the, one of the little old knobs and come back down again. Looks like we're probably heading up another one. So it's been a little field walking and walking the woods today. So it's a very nice trail though. Really easy to follow. Trade's been really good on it up here on the top side of it. That part coming up from the creek was extremely rocky and rough, so just be aware of that. I was glad I was climbing that section, not going down. If I was going down, it seems like we're always wind up taking my tumbles. Man, it's beautiful down in there. Camera does not do it justice, I promise you. Okay, here's a little campsite with an awesome view uh, if you're looking at the map on the Koi Ball Trail uh, I'm using that Earthmate map and uh, it shows no road up here which I don't remember didn't, didn't see cross no road but it's kind of on the uh, left hand side of that loop if you got your map facing north just up from the bottom side of your loop so it's, a little over the halfway mark for us, but uh, if he's coming from the parking area, it'd be before the halfway mark. So, depending on how you're looking at it, but nice little campsite. Pretty cool. Okay, so we come down off of that ridge, drop down a little bit, and hit a pretty level spot through here. Pretty easy cruising, trail's good. Headed to the Koi Bald parking area, mm -hmm. which we'll go right on past it. Go back down to the creek. Now, if you look at this uh, area I just dropped down into here, man, it's so beautiful down in here. Very pretty. Looking back up, looking behind me. So, all right, this way we're going. Okay, so there's Koi Ball Trail we just came out on. Here's Trail Junction sign, Long Trail, Koi Ball Trail. I'm assuming that goes back to the parking lot of Koi Ball. So, we're off down to back down to the creek now. Back on the Long Trail. Okay, just walked back, made it back down to the creek. Huge campsite down here. Lots of places to camp down here. I'm sure it could get busy on some weekends. No doubt. And it's beautiful back through the trees, or if you can see that or not. Looking back into the creek. The trail is going up that way. We're going to walk down here and get a better, better look at the creek. crystal clear. There's a log up on top of the rock, so it gives you a good idea of how deep the water can get in here. Clear and floods. Wow, that is beautiful, guys. Woo, that is clear. Just like upstream. Wow, beautiful, man. Yeah, look at the water dripping up there. Zoom up. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
Wow. Alright. Up the creek we go exploring. Here we have Kathy boarding the creek in the mighty crops. Trying to keep on her feet. Here she comes. See if she's going to make it without falling. Oh, she forged the river like a champ. <laughs> Didn't float off or nothing. <laughs> Alright, we just crossed the creek. Nice little campsite. And there is our trail that we may be coming back on. We're looking for another overhang. This may be it right down here that we're looking for. So let's go explore and see what's down here. Okay, so we're currently off trails. Any yeah, marked trails, let's put it that way. There's somewhat a path up through here. We're going back up creek. We came to hike and we're going to do a little exploring through here. Past several good campsites, so someone's been. Uh, they need to create a new trail through here. Who knows? We're we'll gonna keep going for a while. We may turn around, we may dead end up here and can't get across or whatever. But worst case scenario is put the water shoes on and get the creek, walk the creek. Keep the footies towed. So, there's my other explorer with me. She's enjoying getting off trail, so. I can hear a waterfall. Oh, there it is. Little bitty one tucked back up in the cliff there. Right from way high. Let's see if I can get a better picture. I'm looking into the sun, so it's kind of kind of difficult to see. Uh, little bitty one. Just in there. Mercy, that's beautiful. Look at that down in there with the water running. Wow. Okay, so we've crossed the creek again. We're on the other side of it now, as you can see. We walked up in a pretty good ways. But there is definitely a trail down through here. Not maintained by any stretch of imagination. But it sure is beautiful across the little creek there. The creek widens back out again. So, I suspect we got to cross that thing again. We're going to run out of bluff here in a little bit. So, we still have not spotted that other overhang that's supposed to be around here. And we'll keep going with this level to wind back up at the falls. But that's alright too. We're here to explore. Man, looks like we're coming to another big bench drop in the creek bed. Well, no one said anything about this kind of falls. You guys see that across there? Wow, that's beautiful. Get out and see if I can get a better, better angle on that dude. There's another one of those little hollows draining off in here. So, there's a little waterfall. We're at the top of it. Look at that. That is pretty. Things across there. Yeah, that's a pretty good bench in here. This is probably actually, at least six foot drop bench. Now that creek bed. Let's walk out on and take a look see. That's what I'm thinking. It looks -see. Wow, I bet this thing would be beautiful when, after a little flood down here about two days ago. Wow. 
Now look at that guys. If that is not beautiful, I don't know what is. Looking back up the creek. And let's see which side we can figure out we want to get on and go up, whether we want to go back and cross again and work our way that way. Alright, we'll quit yapping and get over here and take a look at this. Look at that. Woo! Isn't that pretty? Outstanding! A lot of swirling in there. I've seen very few fish, so... My guess is it dries up pretty fast, so... We are one of the blessed best we can ever good weather and water to boot to see all the pretties. Alright. Off I go. Yep. Okay, so the falls is right over there. So we climb up right over here to this shelf. You can see how clear it is walking up through here. And we're headed right down that way there. So if you don't mind doing a little bushwhacking, we're getting awful close to the falls. Okay, another little overhang in here. Uh, we just walked past the second overhang. We found it. There's a group in there already. So I didn't see any video, but uh, I think our plan is is to keep walking our way up the creek and we're going back to the falls and we'll decide where we're going to camp tonight at fact once we get to the falls. Maybe back at the falls, who knows. We're back in there somewhere. Well, oh, man, old Kathy's still in bushwhack mode, so but look at this little golden nugget we run into. Isn't that pretty? Two waterfalls. Ooh. Okay, about halfway between that big overhang and the falls, there's another overhang. Not a big one, but it's in here. It's in here. Pretty cool. Very beautiful back in here. Yeah, that water's clear. All right, we're working our way on around. Okay, forgot to film that last night, campsite, but uh, here's tonight set up. There were two pads in there. They said it's two person tent. That's about what it all fit, but we're kind of getting a bunch of extra stuff in there, gear and what have you all strung out all over the place. Of course, that uh, hack that everybody does to pull that up away from your face works pretty good. Uh, then as we keep hiking together we may have to spring for a triplex though to get just a little bit more room in that thing. But we'll see. Been soaking water. There's a water bag hanging up. There's Miss Kathy down there uh, drying her shoes out of the car. And uh, we are back at the falls again. And let's see, zoom up over here. You see that tent sitting over there across the creek is where we was at last night actually. So we went down, or we came back up the trail, went down and looked at the overhang that's a half a mile down the trail on that side of the river. Went back up to Koi Ball Trail and hiked around Koi Ball Trail. We got back down to the creek crossing and we opted for just a little bit of adventure and <laughs> came about all the way we uh, come all the way up the creek is what we done there's really not a marked trail there a lot of bushwhacking uh, across the creek but that's pretty much what we done and it was a good little trip so Instead of going up on top and hiking the ridge, we decided to just do something a little different and adventure around. 
got socks hanging up and getting dry. I managed to go and took shoes off crossing the creek. Should have just went ahead and waited in the water and went on. But uh, I managed to keep one foot dry and slip and got one foot wet. So you see the sun going down up through the trees. We've had a great day of hiking. Really didn't cover too many miles. I don't recall what it was, but it wasn't too many. But hey, we was out for adventure today. So it's quite fun doing something different besides just hiking a trail. Uh, first full day of impressions of Hercules Glades. It's a walk in the woods most for the most part. Uh, or actually walking cedar trees to be more specific. This place is covered up in cedars. So, uh, balls is awesome. Water running through them, so I'm not going to knock that. Not sure what we're going to do in the morning. It may be another late start. We didn't get started until 9.30, 10 o'clock this morning the hiking, so. Both of us had busy weeks, and we were just looking for a little relaxation time, and we've enjoyed it. So, anyway, there's old tent. All right, one last look at the falls. That has dropped quite a bit. Very beautiful. Alright, back up that way we're headed. Okay, so we stayed on the north side of the creek. And we came back up here. We're back up here at the Long Creek Goybal Parking, which uh, I don't I looked earlier what they called that trail. Forgot it already. Sorry. So, uh, now the decision where we're going up that trail. We're going to go back up the creek trail and pick up another one of those connector routes so decision decision one day left okay we're back uh we're calling this the long trail long creek trail whatever they call it but you, we clam up uh from the creek and got up on the little bald area there and there's several nice little camp spots in there we just got to carry water with you but if you build up your water, climb up there, it wouldn't be too bad. It's only maybe half a mile at the most. So we're falling back down again. I figure that's what we're going to do until we get up here to that ridge trail. Tower trail. Tower trail. That's it. what that trail is called. So we're heading down here to the pilot trail, I believe. Is one we're looking for. So we're gonna cruise on here a little bit and pick back up. But nice little walk in the woods down through here. Trail coming up to you got almost to the top was pretty well washed out. I think that's kind of the standard. It's gonna be the standard run for this area. See how it does not appear these trails gets hardly any maintenance done to them. So just kind of just wherever they track in here. Kathy's still upright. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, wasn't me that fell. Or a tent almost fell. Let's go that way. She didn't fall. Okay, here we go. Down to the bottom. Okay, just down from that... Uh, campsite I was talking about. Don't know how long the water will be here, but there's water. Okay, onward we go. Okay, the uh, upper pilot trail has been pretty much this. Been fairly flat, if you want to call it flat. But just cruising along here, not bad at all. You break out into some open areas every once in a while. So, pretty nice.
Okay, so we've uh, ran to the tower trail. Well, we're at, so there was that uh, upper pilot knob that we went up. A couple of signs. This one's really marked good. Someone took a lot of time in marking that trailhead. So, very good. Now it's the uh, pilot trail back around, headed towards the car. Okay, come across this rock with these hoes in it, right on the trail. Just kind of curious what formed those. Uh, the map shows this little beginning of a creek, and it's got water in it right now. We're probably maybe three tenths from that trail junction. This shows it. So there is a little water there as of the uh, 21st of March, 2021. So, right now you got water. So it looks like we go back to climb back out. Oh, wait. I see a better, better water source. Maybe this is the one that got marked on the map. I bet it is. Yep. Campsite here, so I'm suspecting. And look at this one here. This has got holes everywhere in it. Just like back there. So... See now it's got a campsite. I guess this is probably got water in it most of the time, somewhere or another on the creek. So pretty cool. All right, we're heading that way. Okay, we made it up to the middle trail. It takes off down that way. So we're working our way back to the parking area. There's the middle trail sign. So. Not sure why we got to cross here, whether someone didn't make it and they just buried them there, or the pooch didn't make it and they put it down there. I don't know what happened. So anyway, up this way we go. So, there's where we came from. This way we're headed. Okay, as you can tell, we're getting about closer to the highway. You can hear the motorcycles over there. A little knob up there is what I'd call it. Come up on. Just to see if there's any views, but not much views up here, but it's good to listen to the wind blow through the pine tree, so uh, pretty bedded up in leaves, so really didn't see any place camping sites up here, but pretty to come up here and look. Alright, back down the trail, back to the car. Yep, someone really worked that trail marker over. Yeah, a lot of people do. So, there you go. We're headed back to the uh, parking lot. Still on tower. Off that way. Okay, we come back up on another little knob. Lots of Pines up in here, very beautiful. Mixture of pines and hardwood, so we're getting pretty close back to the parking lot. Thought I better shoot a little more video of the trail. You can see how wide. Probably gets lots of traffic. Winds are howling right at the moment. So down we go, and probably back up again. So, but I don't see the fire tower on any of these hills, so we may have a couple more hills to climb. Who knows? Here we go. Alright, so here we are coming up to the 
piece hollow trail. And it is a five and a half mile walk around it and down and back up. So it's kind of up here in the hardwood area. Very beautiful, but all right, we're walking up to the parking lot. There's a diamond and a sign right down there saying Pete Hollow's Trail, so that's where that loop starts in the end, whichever way you want to call it. There's the tower trail head. So, as you can see, there's the fire tower looking up into the sun. Uh, this is going to wrap up the Hercules Glades Wilderness Hike. Uh, let's see what the... Bear with me here. Yeah, 20 miles is a long way to carry water when you didn't have to. So 20.4 miles is what the trip looks like it's going to be. So 20.5 time we get up there to the trail where the car's parked. So very good hike. So parking lot looks like it's busy, so I won't film up there. And uh, have a good trip. Started on Friday about 3 o'clock. It is uh, 2 o'clock on Sunday. So no big miles. We just enjoyed ourselves as we walked. I'll go ahead and shoot a little video of the fire tower. There it is. There's the parking lot. So if you go on over the Tower Ridge Trail, it's on that side of the parking lot. If you're going down the creek trail, it's parked down there where that Jeep is. Here's where that trailhead's going to take you up. It's a little bit confusing once you get in here. You get to look in because there's nice little camping areas all around through here. Place to throw your tent down there and picnic tables, fire pits, so wouldn't be a bad place to drive over and car camp. You could walk, come car camp, get up in the morning, walk down to the falls. So anyway, nice little trip.